everyone, it's Kathy here from Dobello's Designs and today we're going to be creating a card using some cardio stamps and some little wellies which is really appropriate today because it's the start of British summertime and in England it has rained constantly all day. Every time I've tried to make a video it's hammered down and you can hear it in the video so I had to stop so fingers crossed we'll get it done this time. So this is a, a, a six inch square card and I'm using some multifarious card, which is five and a quarter inches square. And then I have pink backing card, which is five and a half inches square. And then I should put that onto a six inch square card once folded. The stamps I'm going to use, as I say, they're all cardio. I'm going to use the winter stroll and we're going to have a few of the wellies from there. And I'm going to use a tiny, tiny mouse in the peaceful place. I'm going to use the Majestic Oriental Blossom for the wreath. And the Breezy Day, we're going to use the bunting. And on the Water's Edge card, I'm going to be using the single mouse and the three little birds. I'm also going to be using a Lavinia stencil, which is uh, leaf trails, I think. Yeah, leaf trails for the background quite a subtle background um, for the stamping I have Vestafine Claire Nocturne Purple Delight Green Oasis and Monarch and for the background I'm going to be using Stormy Sky uh, Mowed Lawn and just a tiny bit of Wilted Violet and Victorian Velvet I'm going to be using the pegs from uh, Cardio for adding some of the flowers and things on the wreath. I have uh, various blending brushes to do the background. I'm also going to be using a pencil to draw a, a rough circle and I have a brush to wipe away the glitter. And I also have the quickie glue pen. You will need something round for... Um, drawing around the reef. I choose to, to draw around this wavy acrylic block because it's not a complete circle. So so I don't have to rub it out afterwards because because of the branches are a bit wavy. So that's great. Um, and you'll need some torn kitchen paper to do the clouds. And I have Eco Glitter Star Brights Fairy Tales from Lavinia to finish off. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to move those back in. So I'm just going to roughly, I'll just use my hands, fingers as a guide to get roughly even and I draw around it with a lightly with a pencil. And then I'm going to start using the branch and make a start on the wreath. I'm going to do this in first and second generation going around. coffee in there. There we go. So I'm going to put my wreath that way around I think. Right, now the wreath has been drawn, the outline of the wreath, I'm just going to use my blending tool and blend the background in the mode lawn. So I'm going to take most of it off because I want it to be quite light. Just going to use the same colour green 
with my stencil. around the edge and then the next thing I'm just going to tear roughly fold it only because I want it to be fairly straight to here so I'm going to go this way I'm going to put most of it on the paper I do want a dark edge across the top. There we go. Right, so now I'm going to stamp my three little birds at the top. start stamping the boots. I'm going to start with these boots first and they're going to be in the center and they're going to be the dark purple. turn this upside down just for the purpose of the video because it's easier for me to see this way if I get it lined up okay there we go boots one and then I'm going to get the one with the polka dots and I'm going to do that particular one in the purple delight Some little baby ones also in purple delight and they can just go there. right I'm now going to use the green oasis Let's move these out of the way. I'm going to do a little bit of grass <coughs> at the front here. do my little mouse who's sitting at the bottom here watching them a bit of my thumb first I'll have him sitting just there and then I'll have the other tiny little field mouse I'm going to put him on one welly, sort of looking in the other welly, like that. He's having a little nose to see what's going on in the boots. Right, now it's going to be the bunting, which is the monarch. So I'm going to... Put that on there. And 
to go that way around. And we'll put that about there. So, right now time for the flowers. So I'm going to use the long thin peg and I'm going to use one of the majestic flowers that's sort of like got five petals on. There's two flowers I'm going to use. One has five petals and the other one has four petals. So I'm going to use the five petal one first and I'm going to use the monarch again. I'm just going to randomly put them around the wreath. Gently take as much off as I can and do just a little bit of purple in here and the same with the pink. Right, now, using my torn tissue paper, I'm going to use Stormy Sky. And the reason I didn't do my sky first uh, was because I wanted to do my boots so that the polka dots stay white. And if I'd done my sky first, they would have changed the colours of the boots. And I didn't really want that. So I'm just going to do a few clouds in the sky now. the glitter. So I'm going to use my quickie glue pen and I'm just going to randomly do it on some of the branches, some of the flowers and a bit on the bunting.
glue the card onto the backing card. go perfect card to celebrate british summertime <laughs> well thank you so much for watching i hope you found that useful if you haven't already joined our facebook groups would you consider joining our two facebook groups we have del bello's designs lounge for all products that are lavinia and del bello's a la carte lounge for all of the other products that patty sells including cardio stamps sweet poppy stencils uh, Nelly's Choice and a variety of other products. So thank you so much for watching and um, until next time. Bye.